And we're out here. What's going on, everyone? It's Adam Rich, and I just wanted to ask you, what is your opinion on where Facebook is going in the future? Like, what's the future of this social media outlet? Because there's so many social media, there's so many different types right now that's going on. You got Instagram, Tumblr, Twitter, Facebook, Snapchat, LinkedIn. Um, I mean, there's, there's, it, it's endless. There's, there's so many of them, and. I've noticed that Facebook, like what it used to be like probably four, five, six years ago compared to what it is now, like I hate it. I absolutely, I despise going on Facebook and I'm not trying to uh, blast anyone that does. If you like going on Facebook, that's cool. Me personally, I don't like it. I hate the direction of where it's going. It's overly politicized now. It has... It seems like that's the site you go on if you just want to bash people with other opinions as you, and if you if you just want to jump on somebody else's post and just like just crap all over them. You see this a lot with politics, obviously, but you're getting it. It seems like you get it with anything that goes on now. It, I mean, I've, everything becomes political. I guess I don't want to say it's just about like the president and senators and governors and uh, Republicans and Democrats and things like that. I don't mean just that kind of political. I mean, it, it, it's become to the point where anything that goes on in the world, anything, any kind of a world issue, a world topic, people air that dirty laundry all over Facebook now. And they want, it's almost like they're encouraging divide. It's like they're, it's like every time somebody puts a post up now, it becomes this is my opinion, and if you don't like it, you're against me, and you're I don't like you anymore. And I've seen so many people unfriend each other on Facebook just because they have differences in opinions on things. And it's like, I've noticed with the other site, you don't really get that with Snapchat. Like, you can have somebody rant all day about how they hate Donald Trump or how they hate uh, the Democratic Party or how they hate Colin Kaepernick's deal with Nike, and... It doesn't matter. You just, if you hear it, you move on and then you move on to somebody else. You don't like unsubscribe to that person just because of that one post. You don't, uh, on Instagram, if somebody shares something, it, it seems like Instagram at least has more of a variety of things that people will share. It's not only focused on political stuff or only focused on views. And I've noticed with Instagram, you don't have a lot of people just piling on to just you know, go after you in the comments. You do have that. I mean, it does exist. There's obviously people that are, you know, hating on everyone. But I noticed with Facebook, man, it's terrible. You can't go on anymore and scroll for like 10 posts without seeing something, somebody saying something horrible to another person or arguing with somebody's post. Like you can't just read somebody's post and keep going. Like if you don't agree with them, move on. Just keep going. And I've noticed, like, Facebook for me, honestly, is only good for one thing. Keeping up with family, like, events and things. It's like, I, if if I care enough about you... Oh, excuse me. I didn't get a lot of sleep last night, so I apologize. If, if I really care about you, if I really like you, and something big is going on in my life, you'll know about it. I don't need to put it on Facebook just to... I don't know. It just seems like Facebook has turned into just such a, like a spam mag, like just newspaper, like just a bullshit magazine that it's like the weekly world news or the Inquirer or uh, CNN. It's like, you know, like, and, and what I've noticed too is Facebook more than ever now seems to be biased in some way. Like it's, it, it, there's, they've already gotten in trouble for this. Um, their algorithms are pushing people more towards one political spectrum. And if they want to go, if you want to go that route, if you want to be on one side or the other with, when it comes to politics, that's fine. Do that. But then you're now, you're no longer, in my opinion, you're no longer a social media where people are just there to, you know, talk and have fun and enjoy each other. You're there with an agenda, you're pushing an agenda. This is no different than watching CNN or Fox or or NBC or any of that. It's you have one one political side or one way of thinking, 
and you're catering to that side. And if anybody has any opposing arguments, yeah, so it's a social media in the sense that if I disagree with their algorithm or if, they're, if I disagree with their political standpoint, I can still post things, but it's more than likely not going to be viewed like the, the it, this is what it's boiling down to is that it does seem to be more of a left-leaning democratic side now which is which is fine if that's what you want to be but you got to announce that you got to say that to people you can't act like you're like CNN you can't act like you're split down the middle and you have no bias whatsoever and then you go and then you purposely push a specific agenda and you just shit all over the people that don't have your same view you can't do that that's not right to do and if you want to do that then you have to announce that and that and then that's fine and like CNN they claim to be biased they claim to be right down the middle they claim this anybody that knows the difference between a uh, right-wing show and a left-wing show knows that CNN is not at all right-wing they do not support or give two F's about conservatives and Republicans and that's fine I don't care I don't care what you what your view is just don't act like you're unbiased you're not. You clearly have a, an agenda to be pushed. You clearly have a goal or a mindset. And it's, listen, I have friends that are all over the political spectrum. I have friends that like care about this and don't care about this, or they feel, or they feel this. They feel, some of my friends feel totally different than I do, whether it's politically, religiously, just in life and period. And it's fine. I, I can disagree with somebody and keep it moving, keep going. It's fine. I can still be your friend. We don't have to agree on everything. I have friends that are atheists. I'm not an atheist. I do believe in God, but you don't have to. I don't need you don't need you don't need to believe in God in order to be my friend. That's not how I that's not how I judge my I don't pick and choose like, "Oh, you don't believe in God? I'm not your friend." Okay? That's not First off, as a Christian, that's not how you should value people in the first place. That's not how you should look at people. Secondly, I don't make my views my whole like uh existence i don't it's not like every time i hang out with a friend i'm pushing god on them or anything like that like we can be friends and talk about life and have a good time together and keep our religious views aside like that is a thing you know people are you can do that that does exist but i don't know like it, it, this isn't more about the the political thing or any of that it's more about the fact that what Facebook has turned into, in my mind, I don't like it at all anymore. I literally hate going on Facebook now. And like I said, I'm not judging. If you like Facebook, if it's your thing, if you love scrolling and you love the drama and you love um, all the different viewpoints and you love all the different dog and cat videos and, and you like all these things, that's fine. Then go on there and look at it. I personally can't take it anymore. I can't. I hate watching the news, like TV news. I, I like getting my news not from Facebook. I like getting my news from, like, first off, the way I kind of go about it is it's kind of weird and I don't expect everyone to do it the same way as me. But basically, I'm slightly late to the party in the sense that I don't go, I don't, I don't constantly look for the newest topic of the day, the newest news. What I do is I wait until I see enough people complaining about what's happening. And then I try to find out, all right, what's really the story? Let me hear both sides. Let me hear the, uh, let me hear the, the most far off, you know, story to this side of the spectrum and the most far off story to this side of the spectrum. The truth is somewhere in the middle and it's your job to figure that out. It's your job to kind of personally decide all right what logically seems like it makes the most sense but with facebook they're not doing that it seems like everything on there even if you fall in line with the the algorithm quote unquote that they use and it's perfectly everything you want there's still so much drama and negativity and people bashing each other like I don't know, man. It, like, I made a video the other day about cats and dogs, the difference between cats and dogs, and how cats are just evil monsters, and how dogs are just wonderful, loving little creatures that just want to be around you all the time. That doesn't mean that it's 100% true for, like, all dogs, and 100% true for all cats. Obviously, there's exceptions, there's differences. Some dogs are evil and mean and want to fight. Some cats are just loving and just want to be around you, right? It was just it purely, honestly, the, the video that I shot was just purely based on me just dicking around and joking about the difference with cats and dogs. Just my own experience. 
because the experience I had growing up was dogs were amazing, cats were always kind of vicious. But I've been around cats that aren't that vicious also, at least not to me personally. So it's not, it's just a joke. However, you get some people that are just scream in an uproar like, you don't know, dogs aren't always mean, or aren't always nice, and cats aren't always mean, and I've had a cat, and you don't know what you're talking about, and it's just hateful. And it's like, look, dude, first off, it was a dumb video about cats and dogs, you know what I mean? It wasn't even a video that was remotely relevant in the world that matters. It really wasn't. It was just me trying, like, me just sharing my viewpoint on cats and dogs, trying to throw in a little bit of humor, being silly about it, and some people take it wrong. Some people take it horribly and don't want to watch it. Like I had somebody tell me they straight up turned the video off because they didn't want to hear that. And I was like, dude, all right, man. I, I, if you're going to take things that seriously, then my video, it wasn't for you. It, just like this one's not going to be. This one's not going to be for you either. Because you may love Facebook. It might be like you may scroll and scroll and scroll to your fingers hurt until your battery dies. That's fine, man. I'm not knocking that. If you want to do that, that's fine. I'm not knocking any person's how they spend their time, right? Me personally, I cannot stand the constant negativity. I can't stand the constant, like, it, it, th this happened so much over the last couple of years where people are constantly looking for reasons to bash, to bash Trump. And I'm not here to defend Trump. I don't care whether you like him or not. But when somebody shares a video and they're like, what this man does is despicable and how anybody can stick up for him is absolutely absurd and you are a crazy person, blah, 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 blah. Okay, well, how crazy? And, and you have every right to feel that way. But how crazy are you for being so upset over a damn video and so upset over this topic that you feel like you need to announce it to the world, share a video, and blast people all in the same token? Like, dude, you are taking it way too far. It doesn't matter if you don't like the guy, hate on him. Hate him. And move on with life. Like, listen, everything I've ever been told about Hitler is horrible. Everything he's ever done was horrible. I don't spend half of my year sharing videos about how terrible Hitler was. And I don't spend half... Listen, I can't stand Hillary Clinton. I'm not going to hide that. And I'm not sitting here... I'm not going to... That doesn't mean that I blindly just love Trump and support Trump. I think some of the things he's done were phenomenal. I think some of the things he says are stupid. It's, it's, it's literally that simple for me. You can't deny that some of the things he has accomplished right now or some of the things the American government has accomplished with him as the president, some of those things are very good. Now, is it 100% on him? Is he the reason why? I don't know, and I don't care. It does, that's, not, that's not where my love is. That's not where my allegiance is. It's not where my loyalty is. What I can tell you, though, is I can't stand Hillary Clinton, and I've never liked Hillary Clinton. I didn't like Hillary Clinton back when Bill Clinton was in office. I, didn't, I, I haven't liked her since. I don't like her now, but I don't ever sit here and share Facebook videos constantly going, if you like this woman, you're just a despicable, evil human being, and blah, blah. I don't care. Do whatever you want. If you love Hillary Clinton, don't listen to a word I'm saying about her and love her. But to share these stupid videos, to waste time of your life and time of your day finding it. And I used to do this, so I'm ripping myself here. I don't want anyone thinking I think I'm above anyone and I think that if you do this, you're dumb and I'm better than that. I'm not better than that. I'm not. Anybody that knows me knows I'm not better than that. But my point is, it was such a waste of time, and it took me a while to realize that. Now that I realize it's a complete and utter waste of time and uh, of my life, and it doesn't get through to anybody, what do you think is, you're going to accomplish? Say you reach a thousand people with that video. A thousand people watch that video. Half of them probably don't even know you. Maybe they're Facebook friends, but they don't even really know you, because let's be honest, nobody knows a thousand people. You may have ran into a thousand people, you may have said hi to a thousand people, and you may have acquainted yourself and been like, hello, my name is so-and-so. You don't know a thousand people. You may have met a thousand people. There's a huge difference between the people that actually know who you are, the people that know you, not know of you, but know you, your, your being, your consciousness, who you are, like the, how you feel, your personality. There's not a lot of people. But the point that I'm getting at is even if you share that with a thousand people, half of which probably don't even know about what anything about you at all. They don't care what your view is. They really don't. I know people don't care about my view on this. 
And I'm not trying to make you, you know, side with me on this. I'm not trying. That's not why I'm making this video. I'm making this video because I curi I legitimately want to know where anybody, uh, anybody that's listening is, where do you stand on Facebook? As of today, um, October 9th, 2018 it is, Facebook to me is dying. It is just a lot. Like, I can't stand going on it. I, I do stuff like business wise where I where I'll like put stuff that will go to that just because I know it's gonna you know reach more people or whatever. But I don't care about Facebook. I'm gonna be honest with you. Even if Facebook comes calling, they're like, we don't want you to share anything ever again in your band. All right, that's it. I mean, I don't I don't care. You can ban me from. That's how much I care about Facebook. That you could ban me today, and it literally I wouldn't even care a little bit. I I wouldn't even be slightly upset. And it's true because Facebook is, it's just become a watered down, just pit of negativity and grossness. And there are things that are beneficial about it, like when you're planning events or the one, the one thing that I enjoy about it is it does alert everybody to like, it lets you, it lets the world know when your birthday is, but even that, that's not necessarily a good thing because half the people that are going to send you happy birthday messages Half the people don't even care you exist anymore. They're just happen to be Facebook friends and they're like, oh, well, I'll, I'll look like a good person if I just say happy birthday to this person. I don't care to go on there to say happy birthday anymore. If I'm really friends with you and I really know your birthday, I'll send you a text. And I and listen, I can't stress this enough. I'm not trying to shit on anybody that does these things that I'm talking about. That's not where I'm going with it. I just want to know how people feel about the direction of where Facebook is going. Because it's not what it used to be five years ago. Five years ago, I loved keeping up with everyone. I love seeing what everyone's doing. Where are they going? You're documenting your your trips now, and you're uh, you're out of town, and you're seeing some cool stuff. Not nice. I want to see that on Facebook, and and you do get some of that still. Like that does exist. The big problem is that you get so much hate about everything. As soon as Colin Kaepernick got his Nike deal, what did everyone do? Um, go to Facebook. Oh, this is a joke. This is crazy. This is absurd. And then other people were like, oh, this is so great for Colin Kaepernick and so great for uh, so many people's rights and so great for Nike. You know, like who's right and who's wrong? Because there's plenty of people on both sides that both think that they're correct. And the bottom line is it doesn't really matter. It doesn't matter at all. Like, if Colin Kaepernick gets a shoe deal with Nike, okay. If you don't like the Nike shoes, you don't have to go to Facebook and tell everyone about it. Just stop buying the shoes. If you don't like what Nike did by putting him as the face of their organization with their shoes and you don't like the cause and you think it's wrong and, and all these things, that's fine, dude. Do that all day. Think like that every minute. But you don't need to share that on Facebook with the world because, one, it just made... Even if you're 100% right, it makes you look like a, big, a bigot because you're hating on this, um, this minority man for getting a lot of uh, financial benefit all because he didn't, because he wanted to kneel for a flag and talk about police brutality and the black community and all this stuff, right? Regardless whether you think it's right or wrong, you're, you got to understand at some point your opinion, if it's just an opinion, doesn't matter to anyone. Nobody cares about your opinion. You, In order for somebody to really validate and care about your opinion, no matter who you are, even my own, I know nobody cares about my opinion if I have nothing to back it up. If I don't have nothing to support why I have the opinion, I don't expect anybody to give a shit what my opinion is. I don't. I don't, I don't think my family cares about what my opinion is. If there's zero reason for me feeling the way I feel, and I can't explain that to you and back up why I feel that way, then who gives a shit about my opinion or your opinion? Nobody does. It's just an opinion. And I think we fall into this trap where we feel like, oh, I got an opinion on this and I don't like this one bit. I'm going to Facebook. Okay, nobody cares. Nobody cares. Like, I purposely don't go on Facebook anymore because of people like you. Yeah, like people like me, how I used to be. How I used to go on there and I'd be like, I can't stand these people and I don't like this and I don't like this. I don't even care to try anymore. The last like three, four times I've gone on Facebook, I've regretted it immensely. It's turned into a wormhole of, well, this guy said this. I'm going to attack. I'm going to tell him why he's wrong. And then you know what happens? 
Not only does that guy respond and probably ignore everything you said, even if you are correct, but maybe you're wrong. And then you got a bunch of other people piling on. Maybe you're correct and you got a bunch of idiots piling on. Either way, it's a waste of your time. You need to ask yourself one question. If you're going to post to Facebook, if you're going to do anything, like if you're going to post anything controversial, I mean, I, I don't mean like if you go to Disneyland and you post pictures of that, or if you have a dog and he jumps through, or he does some tricks and you post that, that's fine, do that all day, that's cool. People like that, that's good. I don't find any negatives with that. If some people think it's negative for you to share a wonderful experience you had, or you're proud of your child, or you're proud of, you know, your dog did this cool new trick and you want to put it on Facebook, if people want to shit in you for that, they're they're dumb anyway, and they don't matter. Their opinions don't matter, and you don't need to listen to it. They can keep moving. But if you want to share something just because you're bothered by something, you need to ask yourself literally one question and one question only: Is what I'm about to post worth what's coming back to me? Is it, or should I just go to, or should I just not even do it? You know, should you bother clicking post or send or whatever? Should you bother uploading some controversial stuff that you know is going to cause backlash? Or is it not even worth it at all? Because there are certainly issues in the world that are worth bringing up, worth addressing. Like if there is a, a guy going around to all these different CVSs and he's preying on young women and he's uh, he's attacking them and he's and nobody's caught him yet. Yeah, and you and you have surveillance or there's a surveillance video or there's a drawing, a sketch or whatever of this guy. Yeah, you should share that kind of stuff. If a kid was kidnapped and they were like last seen with so and so in this particular vehicle and you happen to see that come up, share that. That's awesome. Get the word out. Spread it so we can solve this stuff. But if it's just Colin Kaepernick got this shoe deal and I hate it and I think it's wrong that they're celebrating him. Okay, then stop buying Nike shoes. Stop buying their clothes. If you really hate what Nike did, stop buying it. If, and if you love what they did, if you fully support it, go buy more of their stuff. I don't need to hear about how you feel about... What, if he should or shouldn't kneel, or if you should or shouldn't buy Nikes, or if uh, President Trump said something stupid yesterday on Twitter, or if... It doesn't matter, man. It really doesn't matter. If you f feel like it's a crime that is that needs to be just... that n there needs to be justice involved, then I understand. Alert the world. Try to make change. But if your only concern is... This guy said something I don't like, or this, or this company did something that I don't like, and uh, it really bothers me. Dude, you have to understand, I'm telling you straight up, as, as honestly as I can, nobody cares. Nobody cares how you feel about it. They don't. And I'm not trying to be mean. I don't even know you, and I'm telling you straight up, I know that they don't care. They don't. And think about it. Whenever you whine about anything, whenever you... You complain and, and just make a make a scene over anything. Whenever you're whining about something and you have no solutions to the problem that you're facing, you're just whining and nobody cares. Nobody cares about you whining about some problem that only you is going through. Now, if you're talking about, listen, I have a solution on how to clean up all the plastic in the ocean. Dude, get that out there as much as you possibly can. Call up, call up all the news outlets, post it, make a video. Do everything you can to share that information. But if your only concern is, man, the government's screwing us, and I and I, I know that uh, it's a big conspiracy to keep us down and all this stuff, dude, nobody cares to hear you whine about it. It doesn't matter who you are, what you look like, where you're from, where you were raised, what kind of jobs you've had, what kind of life experiences you've gone through. No one cares. Anytime you complain about a problem with no solution, nobody effing cares. And I am so guilty of this. Trust me when I say I am not calling people out. I'm talking about me also. I have done this many, many, many times in my life where I've just been so upset about my situation at the time that I just wanted to make sure everyone around me knew how bad Adam Rich had it. And the bottom line is, A, nobody gives a shit. B, nobody thinks I have it that bad. You know, no matter how no matter how much you complain to somebody, unless you're homeless and you have a horrible disease and you're just dying and you have nothing in the world that to live for, then somebody might care. And even then, 
let's be honest, most people that say that they, they can't stand seeing the homeless and they can't do, they don't do a thing to help out. They really don't. Most people don't. Most people don't care. Most people are so consumed with their own physical, personal bubble, they don't care about what's going on outside of it. But when I go on Facebook now, it seems like the only thing I see is uh, this person screwed up here, this person said something bad, hey, I can't believe this person did this, what do you think? And then everyone's like piling on and then the other side is like, no, you guys got it wrong, it's actually like this. And it's, I don't, dude, It's it, you need to eliminate. I personally try to eliminate all forms of negativity. Do I experience it? Do I deal with it? Do I talk about it? Absolutely, all the time, I hate it. But that being said, I am actively trying to eliminate all forms of negativity from my entire existence. Every chance I get, every second of every day, I'm trying to like think positive and be positive. And, but things happen. Let's be honest. Things happen where you're just like pissed off, aggravated, frustrated, cranky. Maybe you didn't get no sleep. Maybe you got in a fight with your friend or your girlfriend or your boyfriend. Or maybe your parents are disappointed in you because they wanted you to do something and you don't want to do that, but you don't know how to tell them. And then there's, there's so many things in life that can get you down. I don't need to, I don't need to physically log into it to something to watch more negativity pile into my face. I don't need it. I don't want it. Now, at least when it comes to like Snapchat and Instagram and Twitter, you can, you can follow certain people and uh, but the, a lot of those posts, a lot of the things you see aren't constant negativity. A lot of Instagram is like somebody's personal life that they're just trying to like put out there to the world. Their own views, their own experiences, their own this. It's typically not, I mean, you do run into it. Don't get it, don't get it twisted. You definitely run into some circumstances, but it's not nearly as often. I rarely go on into it. I rarely go on, onto Instagram. I can't talk now. And and scroll and it's like hateful, 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 negative. This person's terrible. That person said this and it was horrible. I rarely scroll on Instagram and like get pissed off and angry. It literally almost happens every time. If I'm on Facebook for more than a minute, there are some good things on there. There are some positive, happy, wonderful things on there. There's some things that you want to keep up on with your friends and family. And I understand all that. I get it. And I'm all for that. That's the side of Facebook I like. The side of Facebook I don't like. I guarantee you if I turn it on right now, as a matter of fact, I'm going to do this just for laughs, right? You can see I haven't been on. I'll even unlock. There it is. Oh, there we go. Let's just go ahead and clean that up. I know this is exciting, exciting video stuff. Okay. So you see, I'm not even on Facebook. See, I got one notification. Let's open it up and just see what happens. All right. So Oh, and then the first thing is the 2018 election. I don't care about the politics. This is another thing, man. This is what I'm talking about. And then there's, oh, beautiful. Right underneath it, the very first thing, Comedy Central, Trevor, the Trevor Noah, who I can't stand. The guy's a complete and utter moron. Trevor thinks sensationalized news reports on missing children are creating helicopter parents. And I'm guaranteeing whatever it is he's saying is some kind of like, uh, a, a, from a democratic view, because that's what he is, and it's going to be something hateful towards the other side, because that's what he does, and that's, this is the first thing, man, right off the top, the election, politics, um, that's my podcast site, there's a family thing, and then what, some kind of ad, and then what's the next thing down, oh, what a surprise, in 1492, Native Americans discovered Columbus lost at sea, and it's going to be, this is all truth, and this is Indigenous Peoples Day, and it's going to be something somewhat political, now I'm not saying that this is bad, the Indigenous Peoples Day, at least he's representing something that rarely ever gets talked about, right, but it's like without, and then four to lay off thousands of workers worldwide, that sounds positive, um, Oh, now see, then my aunt goes and shares some cute little video of a, of a dog laying there getting a bath. That's the stuff I like. That's the stuff I can get into. If Facebook was like that all the time, and I don't mean the same like dog getting a bath video, but I just mean something that's funny or cute or positive, that, that I can get into. And then you scroll up more ads, of course. There's got to be ads. And then there's football talk. That's something I personally like, so I can get down with that. Uh, more football talk. And then let's see. If you were Mac a minute, that's some person's... Oh, 
I want to come to the zoo and I treat myself like they're going Oh, so then this person's just asking. This is another good one. Okay, so this I this I can get it get done with. This this girl here is asking for like the best. Can you give me a suggestion on the best moving company? That is what Facebook should be about. Hey, I got a thousand friends on here and I have a question. Do you have any suggestions, people? And bam, go. And then they load up your box with, with all kinds of comments of, oh, I, I hate these people because they were bad at this. Or, but I really like these people. They were good. I recommend you go there. That's awesome. That's the kind of stuff I can get into. But constant negativity and constant just hatefulness. Oh, and then, oh, and then of course, this is obviously extremely important. This person has to let me know how fast that their internet's running. Just some download M MBPS and upload MBPS and bam, I got speed. Cool. Good for you. Bragging. Okay. That's fun. Uh, let's, let's go here some more. Um, oh, send me some dinner ideas. That's the good stuff. And let's see, my friend has lost everything in a house fire. He went to this. Can you do this? See, that's the kind of stuff I like. Let's keep scrolling. Let's keep scrolling. Oh, another ad. Okay, so it's so so far all we've gotten is we've gotten ads, political, and then a couple people asking for suggestions and and some cute videos, right? That's the kind of stuff I get into. But let's keep scrolling. And of course, the one time I'm trying to find stuff just to show you, it's like cute stuff. Like here's some church thing. Here's a girl sharing pictures of her or that she just had a kid. This one's some comic book stuff. There and there and there and then there's somebody okay Michigan enough over it with the heat. Okay, well you got your your wishes granted. That was yesterday. It was in the 80s in Michigan. Now today it's like 60 some, right? That's what goes down. Man, this is the the okay. So now this is just going to make me a liar today because now I'm scrolling looking for negativity and I can't find any. So now I'm a liar and <laughs> now there's cute dog videos. You know, the point is and then the next video was a political one as soon as I go to close it out. Anyhow, the point is Facebook has turned into a mess. It's turned into a just a, just a free for all. It's turned into most times. Obviously, I didn't really prove my point very well there, but you kind of get. I know any of you that go on Facebook, you know what I'm talking about. I know you see this stuff for yourself. Maybe it's the people I'm following. I guess I'm sure somebody can say that. Somebody's going to say, "Oh, you're just following the wrong people." Okay, well, most of the time, I just scroll. And it's random negativity and hate. And especially like when there's a big news thing, a big political thing. Like when this Kavanaugh, Brett Kavanaugh thing was going on, that's all you would hear about is both sides. Oh, Kavanaugh should be let free. Kavanaugh is a rapist. And you heard both sides nonstop. Now that that's over and done with and, and we don't have to whine about that anymore, now we can move back into sharing cute dog videos and asking people for suggestions on things. That's the type of Facebook I can get into. But whenever there's any kind of a polarizing statement in the news, which happens literally about every single week or every few days, that's when people start loading up the hate. When the Kaepernick Nike thing happened, when the when he kneeled for the anthem, when the Brett Kavanaugh thing was going through, when Trump says one thing about one person ever, like anytime he says anything, you got we got to complain about it. So anyhow, long story short, where do you guys stand on this? Where, how do you feel about Facebook? Am I wrong? I mean, did, I know I just scrolled just to kind of show people what I was looking at, but where do you stand on this? Like, how do you feel about Facebook? I don't feel like Snapchat and Instagram and LinkedIn and all these other ones, I don't feel are the same, like Reddit and Tumblr and Twitter. I don't feel it's even close. I feel like there is a little element of that. I feel like they all have that to, an, to some extent, but... I don't know. Like, let me know, man. Comment below. Let me know, please. I want to know what, how people feel about Facebook and where it's going. I feel like it's dying off. I really do. I can't stand going on it. Half the people I talk to, like friends of mine are like, yeah, I go on it, but you know, I kind of just scroll through stuff and I look at stuff and then I close it out and go somewhere else. Yeah, that's what a lot of people are doing now. That's what a lot of people have turned it into because Facebook's gotten so terrible about that stuff. It's good time. So, I don't know. Let me know where you stand on this. I want to know. Are, uh, is Facebook your favorite still? Do you, think it's, do you think it's just fine? Do you think it's great? Do you love going on Facebook? Am I totally wrong on this? Or are you seeing the same trend that I'm seeing where Facebook is just slowly kind of dying off and everything else is kind of stepping their game up? Everything else is kind of coming to, you know? I don't know. Maybe it's just me. I, I, I couldn't tell you at this point. I really couldn't. So, um... I don't know. Comment below. Let me know. Find me on Instagram, Really Rich Podcast or AJM Rich. Let me know. 
Um, if you're listening on Spotify, please, you know where to find me. Please let me know. I love you guys, and I can't thank you enough for, for listening and paying attention to this. And, um, yeah, I'll talk to you guys soon. All right? See you.